need to be invented already. A beanbag bed with a built-in blanket and pillow. So like a whole entire bed that you got in your room before your living room. I want to be able to sleep whenever I want, wherever I want. Hello friends, it's me. Only OGs will remember where I am. Where am I? Hmm. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? A corn collector. Or perhaps it's a corn shaver. Maybe a corn raiser. So you just take it down the side of the corn. It just collects all the kernels. Oh, wham bam, yes ma'am. You got some juicy corn balls without the cob. This is an idea people have had for years. Spray on wrapping paper. 2019 ain't nobody got time to hand wrap each individual present. Most people don't even know how to wrap presents. I love wrapping presents. I'm gonna always do it the good old fashioned way. But some people just can't. Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, please combine y'all's millions and make this happen. Just I wanna be able to spray a whole entire bike and it be wrapped. This is such a genius idea, but how? How can you put paper in a can? I mean, they put cheese in a can. Maybe one day they'll put paper. We got the Tesla truck, which I ordered, by the way. But y'all can't make spray paper. These heels retract and they turn into regular shoes. What? Why am I just finding out about this? I have suffered for way too long on the occasions where I had to wear heels. When there's this device where you can just bend the heel, it's just like heel mode off, knee pain gone. This is the moment where my illusion of long legs and suffering ends. This is a thing that was recently invented. It's a pen where you can touch anything and it'll absorb the color and you can doodle in that specific shade of orange on your mom's countertops. This seems crazy to me, but it's actually a real thing. Whoa! So it lets you draw in 16 million colors. Scan my blue mug. Wow. I wanna know exactly what shade of puke green this is so I can make my entire living room the same color. Oh, it works on clothes too. Y'all see that? It seemed too good to be true or science has gone too far, but like in a very random direction. We ain't got flying cars yet, but we got the color picker tool in real life. Forget fire extinguishers. Now you could throw a lush bath bomb into a fire and it'll just put it out. What? Okay, that's pretty cool. There's gotta be some magic skill. What is the government doing with these? We got the California forest fires launch y'all just, mm, mm, mm. That's pretty genius if you ask me. House on fire, boom, out, nice. Someone thought it would be a good idea to make a ball of honey that you could just take out of a jar and put into your cup of tea. You know, ain't nobody got time to get the good old bear squeezer. Squeeze that bad boy and then put the cap back on and put it in my pantry. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Let me get my honey ball and go. This is so unnecessary, but also so important. It's a swirly fork, specifically for your pasta. If you are that bad at eating pasta, to the point where you probably don't even deserve to eat pasta, if you can't even roll up the spaghetti with your fork, they made a simplified version where you can just Mm. All you gotta do is bring your fingers down and it automatically swirls up the spaghetti for you. The meatballs, however, are another story for level two pasta eaters. This coffee cup catches the drips and then puts them back into the cup. Okay, ew, that's kind of gross. I don't want them back in the cup. Some of those might have some of my drool. And if y'all have morning drool, it's a little crusty, okay? I don't want that going back in my coffee. No, thank you. This machine spits out fresh pancakes in 45 seconds. You just hold up your plate to it. The anticipation is killing me. <gasps> Here it comes. Can it go any slower? Okay, now that the machine is warmed up, it's starting to pump them out. Yes, do more. Mm, those are some thick boys. You know, I say ain't nobody got time for that a lot, but I can wait 45 seconds for some fresh pancakes. Chopsticks with a built-in fan to cool down your noodles. Okay, it'll save you from the heat. But what if they're too spicy? It ain't gonna cool it down. Also, that would be heavy. I ain't got the time or arm strength to be holding up a whole entire fan while I eat my noodles. I mean, you could either make this or you know, you could wait for your noodles to cool down. Or you could just shove them in your mouth. I'll wait for them to cool down before you start chewing. 
There's a traffic light on the sidewalk for pedestrians on their cell phone. Wow, how very considerate for someone who pays absolutely no attention. Yeah, because I'm walking like this. I don't care if a car hits me. But like, you'll see it change because you're like looking down. Nah, people gotta learn to pay attention. I don't like this. This is not Sniper Wolf approved. Okay, you guys have to comment below and let me know, is this actually worth it? It's a fizz pill. Not a regular pill, a fizz pill. You know, it looks illegal, but it's not. You know when you pour yourself some fresca and mom calls and suddenly you gotta go mow the lawn, maybe record a YouTube video, I don't know, whatever else humans do, and then your drink has gone flat. You pop one of these fizz pills and then it's carbonated again. Like new, just poured out the can. Is it worth it to have a whole entire thing that you put into your drink to make it fizzy again. I mean, I like my drinks extra fizzy. I like it with a ton of ice as soon as it's poured. Super fizzy. You know, sometimes you buy like a carbonated drink and it's not that carbonated. I don't like that. I like my carbonated drinks with extra fizz. So honestly, I would be the fool who buys this. Over here is a spray on sunblock room. Oh, actually genius. I don't think a lot of people realize how important sunscreen, sunblock really is. Always wear it. If you're going outside, even when you're inside looking at your computer screen, you need sunblock. Those UV rays, they hurt. So harmful. But especially when you're outside and you're at the beach, I mean, do you have to pay for it though? I feel like a lot of people wouldn't pay for it. But if you were in like a booth that gave you like 360 protection, there's no like, Oh, will you rub lotion on my back? Don't forget to get in between my back knee. No, this thing will just spray you. You'll have complete coverage. I think it's a good idea. It's a little extra. It would only thrive in LA, but I don't know. I think it's cool. Two-way toothpaste. There's no rolling allowed. If it don't come out one way, it's gonna come out the other way. And if it don't wanna come out either way, then it's done. You throw it away. The cycle starts anew. Okay, Crest, I wanna see y'all on it. Rechargeable batteries. You know, when I go into a Walmart, I'm paying $14.99 for a pack of batteries and they ain't even rechargeable. You see these? I use these for my keyboard. And then a week later, I needed two more. Y'all, useless. Get out of here with your weak juice. Why can't I just be able to plug them into an iPhone charger and juice those bad boys back up? Why can't life be that simple? A transparent hole puncher so you see where the hole is. See, I'm trying to make three holes into my Word document so I could put that bad boy into my binder. You don't even see where the holes are. Oops, I done punched me the wrong hole. You know, maybe more people would throw away their trash in the trash can if we made it a competition to get your trash through the hoop. Yeah, I feel like this will work. Or you know what? Just get rid of trash cans completely. No, surprisingly, that actually works because in Japan and in other countries I've been to, they don't have like public trash cans. And the city's so clean. Where does the trash go? Hmm, maybe people just save their own trash until they go home and then throw it away. Okay, but what about all the people who shoot their shot and miss? I mean, at least it'll be close enough. Enough. Your phone has a passcode. Why doesn't your USB stick have a passcode? Why can anybody just take it and access it? Well, this one has a passcode on it, so you know it's got some juicy information hidden in it, or illegal things. So you put it in, put your code in, and then it unlocks it. So no one could steal your gender studies essay. Solar power charging. Again, this should be more of a thing. I just want to be able to slap my Apple TV looking charger on the window and get free juice. Delicious. This needs to start being mandatory in new houses built in 2020 moving forward. You got a staircase, why don't you got a slide case? Cause somebody about to catch a case if they fall down. Poor grandpa, he looked like he having fun, but he really just cracked the hip. <laughs> but it's like, why would you walk down the stairs when you could slide down? Seven out of 10 adults rather slide down the stairs. Y'all ever think about how annoying it is to do laundry? First, you gotta compile your dirty laundry, take it to the laundry room, put it in the washing machine, take it out, then put it in the dryer, and take it out and fold it, and then put it back in your room. And then soil it once again. This is a hamper, a washer, and a dryer all in one. You put your dirty clothes in there, it washes and dries them. Why don't we have this at our local Sears? Hello, Home Depot. This would make everyone's lives so much easier.
This bike folds over any pole and locks itself into place. So you don't have to carry around a lock or chains anywhere. You just literally fold your bike. And anyone who even thinks about stealing it is gonna look at it and be like, why that bike built like that? Is it broken? Did nature do that? Can I even ride it? I don't even want it. Genius. <gasps> they made edible cups. So when you're done drinking your drink, you can eat your cup for the zero waste vegan lifestyle. That is a good idea. Why hasn't anyone come up with that? Walmart, where are you at? We got plastic cups, glass cups, and we also got hydro flasks made of indestructible visco girl souls. I want a cup like this. It looks like it's made out of like gummies, jello. You can even make it like a multivitamin. Come on, million dollar idea right here. I wanna see it on Shark Tank in the upcoming months. This is a rotatable bench that allows you to sit on the drier side. So if you're in a super rainy city and you're just trying to sit your booty down on a bench but it's wet, you just roll it to the other side that's dry. Oh, it's such a good idea. This would thrive in New York. Y'all ever sat on your couch and been like, why does this not have a cup holder? Now you can literally grow a cup holder. Not really, but it's an attachment that goes onto your sofa arm and then you put your mug inside. Okay, I actually need this. I did not know it was a thing. I know it's kind of ugly, but it would be so useful. There's been way too many times where my dumbass has put down a cup on the couch and then spilled it on myself. I don't know how these things keep happening to me. So you know the whole thing about plastic being horrible for the environment, how it takes so long to decompose. It takes a plastic bottle 450 years to decompose. Okay, that's my great grandchildren's problems. What if I'm not gonna have kids? <laughs> I don't gotta worry about that. I'm kidding, don't come for me. Vegans, it's called a joke, but scientists have apparently learned how to make plastic that can decompose in one to three years, which would be huge if every single water bottle was made Made with this special fancy plastic. That would be pretty good. Or we could all use our hydro flasks. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one of these was the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life or in this video. And make sure you hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.